Well, today's episode of Glow Trotting with Trey on your next trip to Memphis, eat here, where I'm going to show you today. The Lansky Brothers was here once upon a time. Stay tuned. <laughs> So look at this picture. This is the Lansky Brothers Men's Shop on Famous Bill Street, as you see in that cool sign. I wish that sign was still here on this building. And it looks like Lansky Brothers had advertisement everywhere. Look at the top. Lansky Brothers Men's Shop. And it had shoes coming down the side and uniforms and jewelry and luggage and hats. It says just around the corner right there above the Lansky Brothers Shop. Now on the far end of the building, you say it says studio. That was the blue light studio. So that was not a part of the Lansky Brothers store. Then right next beside the studio, you could go to the Miss River Cafe. They had Royal Crown Cola. So I'm sure Elvis went in there once or twice. But that was in that section. Now, so that's one, two, three, four, five windows. So the sixth window is where the Lansky Brothers store started. And here is the sixth window today, right above the Hard Rock sign right there that I'm pointing at. That is where the Lansky Brothers was when Elvis shopped here back in 1956. Now it's the Hard Rock Cafe, so you can eat at a place that Elvis was. Have you ever seen this picture? Elvis and Mr. Lansky, Bernard Lansky. Man, he was a character. I wish you could have met him. If you did, you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, you missed a real character in Mr. Lansky, a really cool guy. But uh, yeah, so you probably know the story, the Lansky Brothers on Bill Street, Elvis loved to shop here, uh, he dreamed of shopping here, and then he got to shop there and buy the whole store, and Hal said something about, well, don't buy from me, just don't buy me out, just buy from me, something like that. But these pictures, where was this store located? Have you seen this photo, Elvis in his shades inside the Lansky Brothers, probably late one night. Here Elvis is standing inside the store. Look at that floor right there, a real cool floor. And, you know, the store didn't look very big, but uh, where in the world was it located? Well, I know where it was located, and you can eat here. It was right here, once upon a time in Elvis Presley's life. See where that couple is sitting at? They're inside the Lansky Brothers shop. If this was 1956, this whole area where this bar is, over where the staircase is, was, in my opinion, the Lansky Brothers shop here on Bill Street. It's inside the Hard Rock, so be sure to stop at the Hard Rock. There's Elvis on the ceiling. Really cool picture of Elvis. But if you come to the Hard Rock, come to this area. Set in one of these chairs that you see there to my left. There's a staircase that goes down into the bottom of the basement. I'm sure the staircase had to be there. So I don't know if this area was maybe back in the back where they were kept clothes at at that time, or maybe they had a wall in between this. But in this area, on this right side of the building, was where the Lansky Brothers clothing store was, and through my research. And those famous pictures of Elvis that I previously showed you were captured somewhere in this area. There is Elvis on the ceiling again. Somewhere in this area, those famous pictures of Elvis right here was captured. 66 years ago, when Elvis would come in here and buy the store out. Or as Mr. Lansky said, just buy from me, Elvis. Don't buy me out, just buy from me. And Elvis did buy from him. And Mr. Lansky, I'm sure, took care of Elvis. I think he said that he uh, Elvis was on a charge card or something, I guess, before he became famous. Supposedly, Elvis um, was peering in the windows, and that's where Mr. Lansky first met him. That's the story as it goes. Now, down here in this basement area is pretty cool. Right around this area is where Mr. Lansky made Elvis's clothes. This is where the clothes were tailored at, here in the basement of the Lansky Brothers building. So, now it looks like it's a wine cellar. Look at this cool guitar of Elvis. has the Aloha from Hawaii uh, look to it with a belt and the Elvis sunglasses there. That's pretty neat. But yeah, this wine cellar looks like people jam down here. Maybe a recording studio, who knows. 
But I know once upon a time, some of those Elvis clothing items were created, were tailor-made for Elvis down inside this building. It's really hard to believe that Elvis probably walked down those stairs. If that staircase was here, now I don't know, that could have been another way into the basement. I'm going to have to maybe research a little more on that and do a little follow-up video as I learned that this is cool to know and that the clothes were tailor-made down here in a shop. And what's Margarita doing in here? Filming too. She's filming me, filming her. <laughs> hey, and guys, don't be coming and asking me who this girl is and what her number is and stuff. Just don't do it. Don't, just don't do it. I know somebody's going to try to do it. I I'm telling you, I know they'll do it. So if you go upstairs here in the Hard Rock, they have a lot of Elvis memorabilia, like his cigarillas here on the wall and there's a box to Elvis thanks for a groovy show Ronnie Larry Jerry James and John International August of 69 so his band presented him with this cigar case and Elvis had his cigarellas I guess inside this reminds me of Michael Jordan the time I hung out with Michael Jordan he had a big cigar case that he passed uh, cigars out to all of his boys so this reminds me a lot of MJ. Look at that, the Hungry Tiger Restaurant and Seafood Oyster Bar. And then look here, here's a, a I guess, Runny Tut. The drum case was used on tour in the 70s by Runny Tut. So that was on stage with Elvis. Runny Tut used that. Here is the Circle G sign from the ranch there in Mississippi, in Walls, Mississippi. Elvis Presley Ranch, Circle G. See the symbol? That is real cool. I'm so glad that that was saved. And now you can come up here and sit inside the room, sit beside the sink. You eat at the Hard Rock. Have to make sure to stop at the Hard Rock next time now after watching this episode. At least get you a picture of this. I know Elvis was shopping for clothes once upon a time in his life in this building. Never knowing all this would be here 65 years later. It says this metal sign is from the King Circle G Ranch in Mississippi. And that looks like from Jailhouse Rock. 6239 was his inmate number. So I assume that Elvis wore this in one of the scenes in Jailhouse Rock when he was in his jail cell. So yeah, so these are a few of the things that you can see at the Hard Rock on Bill in Memphis, Tennessee in the original Lansky Brothers location. And this was a cape of Elvis's from the 70s, of course. I don't know what shows. I'm not very savvy on the shows and stuff, but I just know that that is looking like a cape that Elvis wore. <laughs> just think of all the work it took to, to create that. So yeah, make sure to come eat here and just sit in this room and just be surrounded by some Elvis memorabilia, Circle G ranch sign. Just imagine what it was like. Here's another cool piece they have. It says, this 1950 stage costume was custom tailored for the King by the Lansky Brothers who supplied most of his clothes. After wearing it on stage, he gave it to Aunt Delta. And according to her, I told Elvis, I knew of someone who would really like the outfit because of the brown velvet trim on the jacket's label. Elvis said, let's not make them wait any longer. Give it to them. Elvis was the most generous and loving person I ever knew. And now it is on the wall here at the Hard Rock. by right beside a picture of Elvis from the Comeback Special. So imagine Elvis wearing that suit back in 1955, 56. I'm sure it's one of those days. There's his name on the, on, on the label there. Elvis Presley. And that was tailor-made in the bottom of this restaurant there where I took you earlier in this episode. Check out this chandelier that hangs in the restaurant. Now back in the day this used to be I believe what Elvis Presley's club or you know they EPE bought this building for a while and I don't know it didn't last but they had turned it into like an Elvis themed restaurant. I'm not sure the name of it. I believe it was Elvis Presley's. But yeah this is where that building was in the original Lansky Brothers Alright, so all of this right here. <laughs> yes, we're good Lansky Brothers. No doubt about it. So come to the Hard Rock. Excuse where Lansky was. So come here to Lansky Brothers Clover to the King. If you're an Elvis fan, the original building was right here on the side where Elvis shops in. 
So you want to make sure you come to the back and go inside and buy you a Gold Lame jacket. Let's go see if they have one. I'm a hunk of hunk of burning love for friends. What you think? It was good on me, right? Might, good. might be a little big, but hey, I think I need to buy this and wear it for every episode of Globe Trotting with Trey. Maybe, I agree. maybe not. <laughs> maybe. I don't, let me think about it. But hey, it looks pretty good, don't it? Yeah, I like it. I feel like Elvis right now. Feel wish like I had his thing. money. I wish I had his money. Not yet. I'd have my nice Cadillac out front, but hey, I get the gold of Mesa, start dancing and stuff. All right, let's cut that. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Glow Trotting with Trey. Don't double dribble. Subscribe. It's free. You stay updated with every new video that I upload, which is once every Tuesday, and special ones here and there. Please like this video if you like it, share it, and until next time, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.